What up, those out people? The new his 97.3, and right now I got the one and only my homie, Pink Sweats. What up, man? Yo, yo, yo. How you feeling right now, bro? Greatness. Okay, right, I like that. Right, you know what? <laughs> the rest of the interview, we gonna sing it. That's it, man. Keep me, it. And, me and you. Are right, you ready for that? Let's do it. <laughs> hey, so real quick. So you in Miami first time? You been here before? I know, I've been here a bunch, yeah. Okay. What do you like about Miami? Weather, food, people. Yeah. <laughs> the, base is, the base is right there. They told me to say have, that. Have you had Cuban food out here in Miami? Oh, no, nah, I don't think I ever had Cuban food. You, so you've been to Miami, no Cuban food, bro? Listen, we got to switch that up. Right? Nah. Right. I mean, you know what it is? It's risky for me to try new stuff mm. before I have to go. Because then I'm going to be on a plane, like, uh, just in case. You never know. Got you, got you. Got Y'all you. do heavy cheese with the Cuban? Uh, we have a lot of cheese down here, though, honestly. Yeah, see, that, that messed me up. So, you, so what, like, are you uh, lactose intolerant? Nah, it's just for whatever reason, the pressure in the plane makes the food go from boom. <laughs> you just got to go. <laughs> I ain't mad at you for that, bro. <laughs> hey, but hey, listen, so Pink Sweats, at Hits 97.3. So you started off as a writer, and right now you're killing it as an artist. So when you started writing, like, what was, like, what was the vision when you started, bro? Like, where did you see yourself getting to before you got to where you're at right now? As a writer? Um... I don't even see anything. Honestly, I just always wanted to write the kind of songs that I thought were dope in as many genres as I was allowed. And that was it. I was, it was like, that was like my first goal. And then once I started like attacking each goal one by one, I think eventually I was like, all right, cool. Now I want to make meaningful music. <laughs> That's cool. Hey, so was is this your only job that you've ever had or have you ever worked in any nah, other nah, job? No, no, I worked at... Uh, Chick Fil A before. Okay, right, yeah, that's my first job. Yeah, you still got the discounts or not? Nah, nah man. Not anymore they cut it off. I was killing them nuggets too much. <laughs> <laughs> Word though, and so on top of that, you being a writer, you you're establishing yourself as an incredible artist. Shasta Atlantic Records out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so now that you're in a position that you are right now, like what is what is it that you see, uh, Pink Sweats getting to five years from now? What is that five year goal from for that for that brand of Pink Sweats? Wow, that's a great question. Um, for me, I see more artists that look like me having a shot at, you know, the big platforms. Um, I see, you know, tours like big, way bigger tours, okay. like just like crazy, like maybe yeah. stadiums or arenas, like yeah. people just like singing these songs that like I wrote now, yeah. like. In a stadium, like, honesty, like, seven years old, but people still just, like, yeah. going crazy, you know what right. I mean? Okay, cool. Yeah, I had some friends that went out to your show in Brooklyn. They were like, yo, I never heard of this dude. We got free tickets, but, yo, I'm a fan now. Hey, so, yeah. hey man, one fan at a time, though, so I ain't mad at that, bro. Hell, you That's dope. the best of luck with that. And, uh, and, like, you as a writer, too, like, you've already worked with a lot of major names, man. Like, what, like, B.B. Rexa, uh, Shawn Mendes. What was that like connecting with, with Shawn? I oh, mean, he's dope. He's super nice. He actually just texted me yesterday. He um, he's like a, he's a rare kind of artist. Cause like a lot of times you meet artists in that caliber, they not as like nice. Yeah. It's like they nice, but it's like like they put in the front. Type yeah, of thing. like he actually will reach out and hit me up yeah, and stuff like that. Cool. So it's dope. Right. So like, how did you guys get connected? Honestly, I think he heard my music and like I heard through the grapevine. Like, yo, Sean Mendes bangs with you. And then it was just more like that happening until we finally got in the studio. Word. So word of mouth, basically. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's how the whole Chance to Rapper thing happened, too? Because uh, you co-wrote Handsome with Mel um, and Stallion, right? No, no. See, I didn't I didn't write on that. I got credit because that's my song. Oh, from the Honesty, because it was yeah, a sample. Yeah, yeah. All right, got you, got you. But um, shout out Chance. And shout out. Oh, dang. <laughs> I met the producer. Forgive me, bro. If you're watching this, forgive me. I love you. <laughs> but we had we had briefly met at um Lollapalooza, the producer, and I was, yeah. I told him thank you so much, because that was one of my goals and dreams is to like be sampled. Word. And that was your first time you got sampled. I mean, yeah, I've only been an artist for a year. I mean, I was <laughs> a chance to rapper album too. Yeah. That's not bad at all. Man. On an album that he's making money. That was Damn, fresh. So, like, how does that work? Like, they call you. They're like, yo, listen, we want, like, we want to use your song, you know, as a part of our song. And, yo, we'll give you, like, how does that, how did, like, how was that conversation? Like, did Chance call Somebody you just hit me up. I think somebody from his team, like, DM me. It was, they hit, like, a bunch of different angles. Somebody DM me. Somebody went through the label. Yeah. 
it was just a bunch of different angles, but um, yeah, I was just like, shoot, like let's do it. I yeah. didn't, I didn't care. I'll hey, so so you a Philly boy? Philly right? boy all day. Yes, sir. Which means that you an Eagles fan. Means that I don't watch sports. Oh, that you don't much. watch sports. All right. Not right now, cause I just travel so much. Got you, got you. So that means basketball. I've been I've been in tune with basketball more, but still not as much as like before. Got you, got you. So you focused on your thing right now. I'm trying. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, clearly, I mean, if you hear Miami right now with some palm trees, it's like a hey, palm tree, a palm from Philly, man. I'm just saying. Yeah, that's facts. And it gets really cold out there too. We were just talking about that the snow. snow out there. Oh just my the god. Shoveling and like yeah, like up north. So I'm from Jersey. He's from Philly. Um, we were just talking about off the air um, how we would just pay like some kids fifteen twenty dollars just cause just to my, knock my, that my out. Back hurts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Driveway, boom. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, psh, I'm not even mad at you for that. How old are you now? I'm twenty seven. Twenty seven. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so you a ninety two baby? Ninety two. Oh man, my oh, man, I feel you. Hey, so um, one of my, one of my boys who went to that Brooklyn show, major fan of yours, like he wanted me to ask you, what would you say up to this point in your career has been your all time favorite moment in the studio? Thus far. Wow. You got to pick one, though. See, I don't work in a studio typically. Okay. I, I work out of my bed. Okay, I mean, that's the studio. <laughs> so though, I think honesty, there. making honesty was probably the most epic moment because it was like, wow, finish the song. And that was the song that made me realize I wanted to be an artist. So yeah. it was like pretty epic moment. So how long did that take for you to, for you to make? Like 30 minutes. Maybe? 30 Honestly, it took you 30 minutes? Yeah. And that's it? Yeah. Man, you know what? Like, I'm going to start working at Chick-fil-A, man. <laughs> you know, at Chick-fil-A at the time? Nah, that was mad yeah. years ago. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, I'm assuming, what, uh, Henny and Coke is your favorite drink? It's, it used to be. Okay. So, I see it now. I'm trying to not drink too much. But, um, yeah. The way I do drink is Coke and Henny or, like, tequila. Okay. Cool, cool. But Coke and Henny, they only be it. Man, all y'all bars, y'all got to upgrade y'all rack, man. They don't never have Henny upgrade. nowhere. But you know what? Because the idea behind bars is that they don't want it to be so ratchet. Because you know, you know Henny be making people Man, ratchet, come on, right? man. Bring the ratchet just Bring a little. Bring the Henny back. Come on. At least the VSOP, man. <laughs> at least it's that, man. You feel me? But, hey, listen. We we appreciate you sliding through Pink. I, I call you Pink, right? Is that hey, cool? Hey, man, that's cool. Cool. one. Like, less syllables, the better, man. You feel me? <laughs> Especially if you're on that Henny, man. Pink's right, right. right. Pink's <laughs> Hey, for real though, his 97.3, we got Pink Sweats in the building. Honesty is out. By the way, you got to check out all his other music too, man. Uh, for real though. Shouts to Atlantic Records. Pink, Yo. I appreciate you sliding through, homie. Appreciate you, brother.